Hey there, this is Akshay Mandan and welcome back to the next part of this complete NumPy tutorial series and this is the part 5 of this series, right? And in this video, we are going to see some more important functions and yes, let's start. So first of all, uh, to, see, to see the mathematical operations, we have to define two arrays, right? So that's why I'm going to define uh, the arrays A and B which are containing the elements from 0 to 18 and 20 to 38. That means they are containing total 18, 18 elements, right? And I'm shaping them into 6 by 3, right? So 6 rows and 3 columns, both of them, right? So they are having identical shapes, right? So let me run this cell and you can see 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. If I, have, if I would not have done this reshaping, it would be a single dimensional array, only one row uh, arrays, right? But I have reshaped them because I want to apply some mathematical operations, right? So I hope you are clear until now where I have created two arrays for, uh, for applying the operations, right? Now after this A plus B, it is going to take each and every element and it is going to add them, right? So 0 will be added with 20, 1 will be added with 21. So all the elements with identical indexes of these two arrays, they will be added, right? So I'm going to get a final array in which the elements with the identical indexes are added, right? So 0 is added with 20, then 15 is added with 35, like this, right? So this is the final array I'm getting. The other function which you can use to do the addition is np.add. And here you have to define the two arrays, that is A and B, and it will give you the same result of that addition, right? Now, next thing is the subtraction. It is going to subtract each and every element from each other and it is going to give you the result. So, the elements at the identical indexes of the two arrays will be subtracted, right? So, A minus B will be done. Now, this is the function, other function which you can use to do the subtraction. NP.subtract give the two arrays. So, it will subtract A and B, right? So, B from A will be subtracted, right? So, the next thing is multiplication. So, A into B, each and every. So, you need to uh, you need to focus that it is not the matrix multiplication. All the rows are not multiplied with the columns. Each element is getting multiplied, right? So if this is A and B, then 0 is multiplied with 20. 1 is multiplied with 21. 2 is multiplied with 22, like this. It is not that mul matrix multiplication that you would have studied in class 11th and 12th, right? So this is just a simple multiplication of each element with each other of the identical indexes. Right, that uh, dot product or you can say the matrix multiplication we are going to see uh, further, right? So this is the function that you can use the NP dot multiply A and B, right? So this will be the result. Now A by B will give you the division of A and B. Like this, it is going to give you the float results. Now this is the function which you can use. Now comes the, now comes that matrix multiplication. Now this is the function A at B, which you can use for doing the matrix multiplication, right? A at B, right? But you are going to get an error. See, it is giving you an error because you would have studied that to do a matrix multiplication, this thing, that means the column number of the first uh, array and the row number of the second array should be identical. And the final array would be of size the row of the first array and the column of the second array, so 6 by 3. But here, as you can see, these two elements are not identical. So I have to reshape them. So what I will do, I will reshape the B. So as you can see, these are the shapes of A and B, 6 by 3, 6 by 3. But here I'm going to reshape B as 3 by 6 so that it will become 3 by 6 and 3, 3 will be identical. And my final output will be, will be of size 6 by 6, right? So let me reshape it. Now my B array is reshaped. Now let me run it again. So 6 by 3, 3 by 6. Now I can do the dot product. So I'll do it. And as you can see, this is the matrix multiplication 6 by 6 size I'm getting. Now there is a function that is a dot b. This will give you the same result, right? Now how you can find the maximum minimum of particular array? So b dot max will give you the maximum element present in that array. b dot min will give you the minimum array. b dot argument max, b dot arg max is going to give you the index of that maximum value, right? So 37 is present at index 17. This is the meaning, right? np dot sum b, it is going to give you the sum of all the elements of this b, right? Now np dot sum b comma axis is equal to one. One axis means rows, right? So it is giving, it is going to give you the sum of each and every row. So first row sum is 135, second row sum is 171, third row sum is 207. So axis one means row. Axis zero means column. So of these five columns, five sums. So it is giving you the sum of each and every column. Np dot mean b is going to give you the mean of all the elements present in b. Np dot square root b it is going to give you the 
square root of each and every element in that peak array right standard deviation is going to give you the standard deviation of all the elements present in b np dot log is going to take a log of all the elements and it is going to give you the uh, output so these are some of the mathematical operations that you should keep in mind while de dealing with the numpy arrays right these are uh, very very useful so i think this much is enough and if you have any doubts you can uh, reach out to me on my telegram channel and yes this much for this video till the next content keep coding keep innovating and thanks a lot